Welcome to uh, this tutorial. I'm calling it Flash Tutorial Add Dynamic Text. I don't know that you can directly add dynamic text. I think you have to uh, work with variables. Anyway, I'm going to show you how I would add dynamic text. I have three layers. I have an action script layer, a dynamic text layer, and a buttons layer. And on the if I close them all off, and on the buttons layer, on frame one, I have this button, and I have this dynamic text. If I unlock those and look at them for a minute, this dynamic text, I'm calling, select it, I'm calling it guess one underscore text, and it's a dynamic text. This box, This box is a button, and it's called button1, underscore btn. So when I go to the next frame, I have a guest text2 text, and a button2. And finally, on the third frame, I have a dynamic text. I'm calling it sum3. Just let me know I'm on frame, I'm on frame 3. And I have a button here. which I am calling button three. So now let's look at these frames one at a time, locking them all on the action script here. I'm declaring a variable count one and I'm giving it the value of zero. And here I have a button. I'm doing it on click with a start is my function name and this variable count one I'm incrementing. So every time I hit the button, I'm incrementing that that counter. So so that I can see the value of that counter in my text box, I'm saying guess one underscore txt period text is equal to open bracket count one close bracket period two string small t capital S that turns blue open close bracket semicolon. This is what allows me to load data into this text box. I copied all that, all that material, I copied all that. I then went to the second frame and I made it count number two. I changed that to count two. I changed my function to start two. I changed this to count two. I change this to guess two and count two. Everything else stays the same. I copied that again, went to frame three, and now I made a new variable. I changed it to total three. So this is gonna be the sum of these two uh, variables. I have button three this time. I'm calling the function total instead of start. And here I have total three, that's this variable, is equal to what's ever in my variable one count, what's ever plus what's ever in my variable two count, and now I'm saying that final text box that I'm calling sum three underscore text, period text, it's equal to this variable, open bracket, total three, close bracket, period, two string, open, close bracket, semicolon. So now let's look at that and see how that works. Okay, because I have, if I look at it, oh, let's go back there for a minute. Because I have a stop on my final frame, I have no stops here. I have a stop, but it's it's uh, forward, it's it's disconnected by these two forward slashes, and I have the same thing here. There's a stop, but it's not working, so I'm going directly to frame three. Control, test, movie, test. And even though I'm going directly to frame three, all these buttons still work. So if I click this, I get a count of three, four. Click this a few times, a count of five. And when I click this button, it adds them together to nine. So I hope that helps this person out. 
Hope they learned something from this tutorial, and I hope they use what they learned.